The goal of this work is to produce a temporarily coherent surface reconstruction in a completely unsupervised manner. The colored squares on the reconstruction visualize our method's inferred correspondence between different frames in the sequence. Note how a semantically meaningful region, such as the rear left leg of the cat, remains in correspondence across the sequence. Given as input a sequence of point clouds representing a shape moving over time, we aim to reconstruct one surface from each point cloud to get a sequence of surfaces. Besides yielding precise geometric reconstruction, our reconstruction is temporally coherent, meaning that the surfaces have a meaningful correspondence between them with semantically corresponding points matching each other across the surfaces. Our method is completely unsupervised and does not use any training data with known correspondences, nor assumes any prior regarding the shape to reconstruct. We found that the temporal coherence leads both to better correspondences as well as purely better reconstructions. Our method leverages the standard AtlasNet architecture, which represents a reconstructed 3D surface through an atlas, a mapping from 2D to 3D. Specifically, an input point cloud is first encoded using a PointNet encoder to produce a latent code. Then, 2D points are sampled from a square in UV space and passed together with the latent code through the decoder, mapping to a point on the 3D surface. We use the Atlas Net framework to define correspondences between the surfaces and require that each point in UV space is mapped to semantically consistent locations in the reconstruction. We achieve that in an unsupervised manner by requiring that the surface deforms close to isometrically during the sequence. For this purpose, we use the Riemannian metric on the atlas. Intuitively, the metric measures a distortion of the mapping from 2D domain to 3D space. However, unlike previous methods, we do not aim to minimize the distortion from 2D to 3D. Instead, we measure the distortion over time, requiring the change in the metric between a pair of shapes to be minimal thus yielding metric consistency and isometry. To this end, we formulate a novel metric consistency loss term. To summarize, given a sequence, our loss is comprised of two terms. First, for each individual point cloud, we make the reconstruction fit to the input by minimizing the chamfer distance and furthermore, second, we enforce time coherent reconstruction with meaningful correspondences by minimizing metric consistency loss between pairs of reconstructions. We found that given a sequence, our method benefits from sampling pairs of shapes which are close in time rather than sampling random pairs. Please refer to the text of the paper for more details. We have compared our approach to several state-of-the-art methods for surface reconstruction and for correspondence estimation. AtlasNet and differential surface reconstruction also follow the atlas-based approach, while cycle-consistent deformation is based on consistently deforming one point cloud to another. Note, CycleCon does not produce a surface reconstruction and hence we don't show it. We show the results in terms or reconstructions using the same texture for all the methods, and in terms of the correspondence on the ground truth mesh where the error is visualized with red color. The visual tracking of a given colored square over the sequence reveals how temporarily coherent a given method is. For instance, note how the reconstructed surface flickers when AtlasNet is used, in contrast to our method. Furthermore, note how our method exhibits almost no red color in comparison to AtlasNet. Our metric consistency term not only yields temporally coherent correspondences, but also leads to better surface reconstruction compared to the competing surface reconstruction methods. The erroneous reconstructions cause severe correspondence errors for AtlasNet, while CycleCon and DSR completely swap the legs. In the elephant's case, errors are more subtle, but still rather disturbing as they manifest in terms of local surface flickering in case of AtlasNet and DSR. While our method exhibits an error in the area of the left rear leg, it still yields the highest reconstruction and correspondence accuracy. In the camel's case, AtlasNet and DSR produce erroneous surface reconstruction, which is avoided in our case due to temporal coherence. DSR and CycleCon again swap the legs of the camel. Our method's correspondence's accuracy outperforms AtlasNet's by a small margin, while our reconstruction quality is much higher, again showing the temporal coherence also improves the surface reconstruction accuracy. In this very dynamic sequence, AtlasNet, DSR, and CycleCon all swap the legs of the human, while our method remains coherent.
In the marching sequence, again, DSR and Cyclocon swap the legs of the human. Moreover, the reconstruction of Atlas Net undergoes severe distortion throughout the sequence, for instance, in the chest, belly, and right leg of the human. Our method remains stable across the sequence. In the running sequence, AtlasNet produces an erroneous reconstruction, which in turn leads to wrong correspondences, while DSR struggles with keeping the surface coherent, for instance, in the thigh area. Here, CycleCon has better correspondence accuracy. However, it still introduces more errors in the upper body, which eventually yields lower accuracy. Note how, again, temporal coherence prevents us from wrong reconstruction in contrast to AtlasNet. In this challenging sequence, focus on the right leg of the human and note the strong surface distortion produced by AtlasNet and the incoherent flickering of DSR. We finish with a severe stress test of the methods, a deflating rubber horse. The multiple foldovers of the ground truth surface are very challenging. Nonetheless, our reconstruction correctly reconstructs the deflating surface, in contrast to the artifact-laden reconstructions of AtlasNet and DSR. Thank you.